stocks by day, sports by night, trading around the clock, sports, value, life. Going fine. All right, week three here. Today's video is going to be a Melbin, but I'm going to show a couple things first before we get into the Melbin. Um, this is the mail that came in. Um, I, I, I opened some of it up, so we're going to go through the cards that way at the beginning. Then we'll get down to the bin, which uh, has a pretty decent amount of packages in there still. Um, but I first want to show off this um, this new scanner that I bought. Um, I've been getting some cool ideas from a company named Cronosio. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. They're out of Canada, but they're helping me with my bulk listing so like uh, listing uh, low-end cards faster is kind of what I'm after um, I've got a bargain bin in my store which everything's 50% off because I've always thought that 99 cents is too expensive and that's the uh, lowest amount you can list for on eBay so I'm I really want to bulk up my uh, bargain bin in my store and get a bunch of uh, cool like football rookie cards that I think people would, would want to buy for 50 cents instead of a dollar so I'm all about you know Low end, high end, pretty much any type of card. But this is this is a scanner that I saw that they were using, and um, it's way faster than a flatbed because. Um, and this is all obviously only going to be used for like uh, low end cards, and um, because the way it sets up, this piece goes up here. Let me move the camera, and um, you actually feed the cards in. I know p people might not be a fan of that, but for uh, low end cards, I don't think it's going to harm them. And I can get a lot more work done faster and get get the cards listed and shipped out. But um, so I'm I'm stoked for this. I'm gonna start this uh, next week. I I, I got to install the software and learn how to um, set this up. So that is my new scanner. It just came in, and then I wanted to show the SMR, which is PSA's monthly magazine. Um, very cool thing. If you if you sign up as a member, I've, I've said this on a lot of videos and most people know, but if you do sign up and become a PSA member, you get a free year of this stuff. I mean, I mean, it's not really free because you're paying for a subscription, but they'll, they'll also send you 15 free um, submissions as a voucher. So I always like to look, try to find my uh, ad. It's in here somewhere. It's like the third month I've had it in here. It's just cool seeing it. And maybe I'll get one that's bigger eventually, but it's not cheap to get these. There I am. <laughs> they, they put me right here this month. Cardboard features. So, it's a cool little ad. Um, I don't know if it's, how much it's helped me, but it hasn't hurt me. So I'm by the Invest in Baseball guys. I think... PWCC's got a full page in here somewhere, but he's the, he advertises. Um, he, his company is just amazing. I'm always in in awe of the cards he has. Um, so let's let's get to the, the mail now. A little. I just wanted to get talk about those two things. So what, what do we got first? So this was a, a lot. I got these for about five bucks a card, and they're all just Griffey score traded from 1989. So I believe these were only available in box sets. Um, I could be wrong on that, don't kill me, but, um, and then this was a lot, so let's start off with this, with the Alex Rodriguez's, so this was a lot of Alex Rodriguez's, um, I think it was like, uh, nine or ten bucks shipped, so it was crazy cheap, but, I mean, they're not all rookies, because I, I consider the 94, you know, the real rookie, that's actually a 93 classic, four sport, and then, I'm not a huge fan of classic, I'll probably put those in my store, I just don't like classic, it's kind of like press pass to me. I, I, I don't like press pass. It's not there's there's so many cards that you can collect. So why why collect press pass? I mean that that's my opinion though. So this is the the '94 rookie, the classic alumni one. There's a '95 ultra. There's a gold medallion there. Um, so I'm trying to collect some more Alex Rodriguez cards because he, he he truly was a fantastic player. Um, I just kind of heard a bunch. I, I don't know that guy personally, but. Um, heard a bunch of things about how he was like a clubhouse diva with the Yankees and not a great teammate and coupled it in with the uh, steroid use and it's just, it just gets a little hard to be a fan of the guy but he's still a great player so this was a Griffey lot I can't remember the price on this it was super cheap but they're all rookies um, I will take a look at these underneath my lamp but um, <laughs> lamp in my loop but um, um, this, this is just a badass badass lot of Griffeys and I 
I always give cards the benefit of the doubt, you know, I mean, there's possibly some gems in here, so I'm going to give them the opportunity to shine if they may. Um, Ricky Henderson, Vintage, I just got an itch to buy this, and I, it wasn't cheap because he had it listed uh, near Mint Mint, so it went for about the price of a PSA 7. That's kind of the most I'd pay because I'm feeling like it's going to be a 7 or 8. I don't know, it's pretty off-centered, but it's a badass card. He's down in his, cra his uh, crouch stance. Um, crazy the amount of bases. Go, and go up to go look at his career stats I, I don't know why uh, stolen bases have fallen off so much but it could be fat um, better catchers pitchers getting to the plate faster I don't know a um, couple vanguards and these are out of 299 so they're the base version so Vic and Thomas and there's the mandatory got it in and we got a bonds this is 86 Fleer update it's at, actually an XRC which means extended rookie not sure why bonds has two years of rookie cards but it's actually pretty cool this is the 86. He looks like he weighs about 160 right there. His head looks smaller too. Um, 96 Leaf Studio Griffey. This is actually limited to 2000, so it's not numbered the way that we think of number of cards now. It just says one of 2000. So I forgot what the. I think it's a bronze. It's some type of parallel, but it's just a cool card from back in the day. So let's get to some mail that hasn't been opened yet. I'm just going to go through that stuff. And I also want to get find a way to put my uh, annotations, those little notes I was putting on the screen for uh, graded cards so you guys could see like how tough sets were. But um, a couple weeks ago YouTube took that option off because I guess it was outdated and not hip or fresh enough but I thought it was awesome Tom, definitely more time consuming to, to get to get the videos out it took more time but I think it was worth it so this is a Jeter 93 upper deck probably like three three to five bucks shipped um, I think it looks pretty nice maybe it's a little off center top to bottom because his name's almost coming off this camera's up kind of high too whoops I'm just gonna tilt it down a little All right. Here we go. I don't know. I just got an itch for like uh, vintage cards. Buying them raw. I don't. I don't know why. I mean, these were like a, a dollar each, so I'm not breaking the bank here. But they were listed. I can't remember who I bought them from, but he's a pretty awesome seller on eBay. Um, Derry Harrison. <laughs> it's a funny picture. Rod Carew. I bought a Star Joe. He's a great player. You don't hear people talk about him much. That's a Don Baylor. <laughs> These cards are so awesome. Tony Oliva and then Splitorf, who was our, our announcer for years, years, and he passed away, unfortunately. But he always seemed like a great guy. And it's unfortunate he passed pretty young, actually. Let's see his birthday. So 46. I think he's. it's been about five years now. So he's in his 60s. If I'm doing that math right. So that's it on that one. Um, next one. This is a molten metal 99 edge top notch cool insert. It's about 12 bucks shipped, but it's out of 75. That's why I thought it was neat. Love these late 90s football cards that are uh, numbered. You just don't see too much of them. Here's something from Canada. It's it's a pain in the ass to ship to Canada. So I can't believe how expensive it is. They're not that far away, but they gotta make make the money off us, I guess. Um, what is this? Oh, this is cool. Uh, 1989 Bowman Griffin. That's a PSA 10. So I think I have a couple of this card. It looks a little off center, top to bottom. I always like to nitpick 10s. <laughs> or I'll, I'll take a 10 and put it underneath my lamp and see if I would give it a 10. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, that's not mine. 
We'll do one of these. This set's so awesome, man. And I've I've been on the hunt for a Piazza PSA nine refractor. And this is, it, this isn't a rookie, but it's it's close. It's his second year card, and it's cool how it says baseball's finest instead of tops finest. And the refractors of like uh, like stars like Griffey and Thomas go for tons. So very cool card. Piazza PSA nine finest. That was probably like six bucks. So affordable. Moss Ultra. This is like a dollar plus shipping. I'll I'll buy that all day long. I love this card. Uh, PSA tens of this are worth about thirty to forty. So it's not the toughest set, but it's just a awesome photograph, and it's kind of a card from my childhood. So I've and and I love Randy Moss cards. So he was just he was so fun to watch. I, mean, I always had a blast watching him and Vic. Vic's just, I don't want to start ranting about Vic because I know a lot of people don't like him, but he was so fun to watch. He was so fast. Uh, Tory Holt, Players Inc. That's an on card, probable Hall of Famer for like seven bucks. I mean, I don't know how it's that cheap, but it is, so I'm not going to complain. I'll just buy him. Score Select 93. I I broke a box of this on camera a couple months ago. I don't know why I bought this because it's a PSA 8, so it's not. I think it was like a dollar fifty or something. But it's still a cool Piazza and it's slabbed, so I'll, I'll probably just throw that one in the store. That happens sometimes. I buy something. I'm like, why why did I buy that again? I'll put it in the store. Somebody else might want it. Um, there's another Vic. This is UD graded. This is a cool looking set. This is the auto out of 500. Nope, it's outside the window. It's not going to get a 10 auto. I'm just kidding. I don't care about autos. About the grade. Although there is the option with PSA now, if you guys like getting your autos graded, they'll grade them, but I'm not into it. And that's just a personal preference. That is not mine. Alan Robinson. That's my brother's. <coughs> Big Alan Robinson collect collector. Penn State fan. Got the craziest Alan Robinson collection you'll ever see. Like tissue paper or something. Oh, this is cool. So it's S SGC. Who? I think right now they're my second favorite grading company. Put back at three, but um, they seem pretty consistent. Their prices aren't like the same as PSA, so I'm just gonna go with PSA, but. I actually, I actually like their holder too. I think it looks pretty good with the black on the outline. So that's an SGC sports car guarantee. If you're interested in that, hopefully there's something cool in this order, something crazy. But I don't know. Oh, this is great. This is the perfect card for me to try to get some slabbed. Um, this guy had. Francis I'm not going to go through them all, but I'll just tell you how many there are. Francisco Lindor, 2011 Bowman Chrome Draft Rookies, and obviously I've been a big fan of uh, Lindor, and he's, I can't believe how high his Bowman Chrome auto goes for now. It's like 250 I used to buy those for 20 bucks all day long. Um, this is the Bowman Chrome base, and I think I bought 20 or 30 of them for about 3 bucks a card, so pretty fair price, and I'll see if there's some candidates in here. It's always fun going through and Seeing what I think is gradable and what is not. Oops, sorry. Um, grippy lot. And I'm I'm gonna do a video this week on some uh, binders that I got in. Like this guy was selling his collection off as a kid. It's just a bunch of like uh, 80s and 90s cards of like Piazza, Chipper Jones, pretty cool stuff. So this was like, a, I don't know, I don't remember. 
this must have been just part of the lot. There's 92 Ultra, the Home Run Heroes 93. And then um, let's go into this one. I'll put these over here. Those are pretty low end cards. I mean, a lot of these cards are just the way it was in the 90s. They just printed a lot of them. And I think kids stopped collecting. There's actually a cool book that I read about that. I'll have to show you guys the book, or I'll just post it in the description of this video. Oh yeah, he was on Chicago for a little bit. Um, so there's the 90, there's the, the 90 Donruss Diamond King. I still need that one slab, so maybe I've got a cannon. That's a cool X-Fractor. 91 Studio. So just a bunch of old Griffies. These cards bug the hell out of me, and it's because the hats are blank, and they don't say Seattle Mariners, but I know a lot of people like Panini Baseball. I'm just not one of them. So there you go. Alright, and this is Bryce Harper. We are going to end on this one. I'll try to get another uh, mail bin up this week, though. And I'll, I'll, I got some other ideas in store for the channel. It's been about five days since I made a video. Just been kind of busy. So, Tops 100, Bryce Harper. Um, and also, one more thing. Let's let's do something different. I know it's not the the nicest card, but a free card's a free card. This is gonna be a subscriber appreciation card. I'm gonna start doing these every now and then. I like giving back to people that watch my videos and comment. And it's just like a ten dollar card, but um person that wins, I'll uh, ship it to them. You just gotta send me your address. So um here's the contest, and I don't think I've ever talked about this, so it's gonna be like, uh, it might take f around 50 tries to get it, but um, the question is, uh, and to be uh, eligible, you have to be a subscriber, and um, what state was I born in? So, I mean, what state? If you think I was born in Missouri, put Missouri. Type in the uh, state you think I was born. First person to get it right, they win the card. I'll ship it out to them, and the rest is history. So, uh, if you made it to the end of this video, thanks. And, um, yeah, type in the state you think, and I'll um, get back to it in the comments section, the person that wins. Later.